That's one small step for man. The year 1969. Now, 40 years later, here on Earth, in a city in the Middle East, man is again reaching for the stars. This is kind of a, a, a project like a, a first exploration to the moon. Okay? Wow. Nobody can challenge it. The Burj Dubai translates in English as Dubai Tower, and it certainly towers over what is already a massive Dubai skyline. Genho Kim is Senior Vice President with Samsung Construction, a division of the giant Korean multinational company that is rewriting construction records with this building. That's really, really scary. <laughs> Why? You can see down? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the bottom of the... Uh, uh, the we can see uh, just uh, through the bottom, we can see uh, right through the uh, bottom. So oh, my goodness. Right. Yeah. The whole way to the ground. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and it's you, really scary. If you fall... <laughs> Gone. Forget it. <laughs> what a list of firsts. When completed and opened, it will be the tallest building in the world at more than 800 metres. That's about half a mile high. It will be the building with the greatest number of floors, the world's highest and fastest elevator. When finished later this year, after five years of construction, the cost will top out at more than four billion US dollars. And on it goes. They have. Uh... 1,200 units of the residence and the hotel rooms. Think about, you know, just one 12, building, one single building. 100. We have just uh, one town. <laughs> Samsung has cornered the market in giant buildings. It has constructed the two previous tallest buildings, Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur and Taipei 101 in Taiwan. It's a source of pride for a company whose success is a symbol of Korea's development. A country once devastated by war and still divided between North and South, it has rebuilt itself, emerging as a modern capitalist democracy and launching global companies just like Samsung. I think uh, the Korean engineers is very diligent. I think uh, the most uh, diligent people in the world. You feel very proud, <laughs> aren't you? Look, I'm very proud. Proud of this building, yeah, proud yeah, of Korea. Yeah. Well, Dubai is all about firsts. It's all about what is the biggest and what is the most impressive. I'm just leaving Dubai Mall. Now, that is the biggest shopping mall in the world. If you walk down here and take a look behind me, here is the biggest building in the world, or it will be when it's open. Now, if you speak to the people who are constructing it, this is not just a building, it is a symbol. A symbol of Korea and what Korea has been able to achieve, and indeed a symbol for all humanity. The Burj Dubai is due to open in December. It is already a tourist landmark. It's amazing, it's great, it's enthusiastic. It's 880 meter height, it's the highest structure of the world. <laughs> you looking forward to being able to go up there one day? Oh, sometime. <laughs> yeah. In the sweep of human history, the Burj Dubai may not rank with man on the moon, but right now, there is nothing else like it on Earth. Stan Grant, CNN, Dubai.